he can just wait and hang back here and make sure that he's listening, counting the footsteps and getting all the information they need. It's a good shot from Simple. Might put a little bit more pressure on Plopski to start to move, but again, no one's even near the bomb at this point in time. And that's an excellent kill taking down Flamey Res will fall next in line. And let's see, Plopski, they're just going to try and ignore him. I actually don't mind that, but you have to go quick then. And I mean real quick, otherwise you're going to run out of time. Simple will pick up Hampus and there comes Plopski. He's going to get shot down. That was a swing from Electronic and somehow they get that retake done. Perfecto is there with the defuse kit. That is absolutely not an easy retake for Navi to negotiate. Kind of falls flat with those forced up AK-47s. Look at Simple. Late aggression. Very late aggression. And NIP already pushing into connector. Hampus has two opening kills. Boomich finds one, but they know exactly where he is. Good kill, finally. But the bomb site is open. And another retake scenario for Navi. It's a good shot from Nork. And that probably will seal the round. Don't know if he could see. Yeah, he couldn't see the shadow or anything like that, but... Flamey still in a one versus two. He's kind of anticipating it. That would have been an incredible headshot if he could have caught Plopsky jumping. I, I just found it odd that Simple, I, I think he was peering all the way up towards the base of Catwalk. He wasn't even kind of clearing deep in mid, which, I mean, obviously that's a wide swing, so it would have been... Oh, they're walking through the smoke on the other side. That's actually really risky. Flamey, if he catches one of them, but he's not. Nock will get a quick headshot to take down Flamey. Still another two people here at the B-bomb site. That could have nearly been a kill. Oh, it's so close for Simple to put that through. But now the fire at his feet is going to put him all the way down to 44. Three on three as the bomb is down. That CZ is about to walk in a certain death. Boom, which is nothing to do there. Quick reaction from Simple, though, to take down Twist. Only really his shoulder showing at that point in time. A little bit of a challenge. Perfecto will take one down. And now Hampers up here in a one versus two. They could probably guess where he's coming from. But, oh, nice shot and nearly a follow-up. Simple will live, but no defuse kit. So he is going to have no to kit. make a run for it. That is so hard to deal with. Good triple, but they'll lose the round. Yeah, that is tough for Navi. The sole hitman coming out from the apartments there. Boomage unable oh to get back behind the box, and that's a big issue. It's a good headshot, but the bomb is still going to be going down, and now it's a retake, and one that Navi cannot afford to lose. Yeah, you feel like at some point they have to get the message that this is not going to be doable. Oh, and simple going down <laughs> twist. A very, very tricky kill. That is going to be Flamey next. And, I mean, again, this is way too much of a loss for Navi. They could have definitely made it out with three rifles, and that would have kept them competitive. Simple could have dropped for somebody, and they could have had a pretty decent buy. This is wild. They're going to get up here quietly again. Yeah. Electronic and Boomich are down at a ramp, but they're going to have to watch behind them. Electronic is looking behind him this whole time. Boomich, he better win that fight. And now Electronic's in an impossible scenario. He's got Simple to back him up. Twist is going to pick him off. Flamey finds one in window room. And Navi is holding on for the moment. But there goes Simple. Two on two now. Twist and knock against Flamey and Perfecto. If they could just get that bomb down, the cover of that AWP would be huge, the one that Twist is holding at the moment. So Smoke to go and put the bomb down, a little bit of an off angle, just to avoid the easy spam. Flashbang being thrown over the wall, and Flamey can't find anyone behind it. I think Twist was momentarily flashed, but he's going to get a kill on Perfecto. Now it's looking good. One versus two for Flamey, looking on top of it. Oh, and he's going to get spotted. Nice peek from Twist, great triple in the round. They still need to get the grenades down, and look at how close NIP are getting to the actual bomb site. One kill, if, if that had been gone through for Rez, and the follow-up is amazing. In the middle, it's electronic going down. That leaves Flamey alone, and there's no time to call any backup. It happens so quickly. Needed to be a double spray there for Flamey, and it isn't. So I think NIP just have the luxury of being so close to the bomb site when they, when they pull the trigger, and now we can't even react to it. Yeah, it's, it's weird seeing Na'Vi not actually try. It feels like they're not even really mounting a defense of any kind. There, there's no... This Na'Vi team needs to, needs to wake up. Like, this, this defense is, is gross. Simple's going to watch his back in the underpass. But he's got that op still, and he can be a nuisance in middle, but the main hit is going to be at this A-bomb site, and we're really rolling the dice with this smoke. We know Electronic loves to do it. He's so very good, but Nock is aware. One, oh my god, how is he? He got a double out of that situation. He's done it again, Electronic. One player in Palace, and that's Rez. He's going to have to back off. But the bomb is down, and Navi have control. That is kind of the name that Electronic has made for himself. You could even tell they were sort of looking for it. They, they actually felt that coming. 
And they still couldn't stop him. Boomich with the AWP, not another sight we see all the time. Does get baited out, but they will get the follow-up. And that's two orbs now, and I don't know if Perfecto could get... Yeah, not falling back from that position either. Flamey Man, unable to see Flamey Plopsky. didn't see that again. No, he definitely didn't. And I mean, I don't know if there was the fire or what it was, but Plopsky's going to be able to get that frag. That's a nice opening, nice refrag coming in to even it up. As, how are they in these positions? I don't this know. is what I'm so confused about. Boomich is fortunate to be alive. This is craziness, and there's Simple. He's picked off as well. Good kills from Boomich and a desperate scenario. But man, NIP, like, living up to the name of Ninja, getting into way more advanced positions than they should ever be allowed, and they're doing it silently with no knowledge of the Navi defense. Yeah. These have been tough angles to handle, but the players in the A-bomb said Electronic and Boomich, they handle it admirably, but... Oh, it's so uncomfortable. I mean, one flashbang on Electronic and this whole A-bomb side is wiped out. I think that's all it takes. The smoke is there. Simple will pick off Twist. That's a really good start. That's the connector part of this push gone. And Hamper's not looking for it. Huge defensive kills coming out from Electronic as Simple in the first go around. That actually stops all the pressure from the middle. And now it's just about that ramp. Nice headshot from Nork. Can't believe he won that fight versus the AWP. But it's a two on three with 15 seconds. So now we just need to calm down. I think Rez crashed. I think it's a one on three. Oh, yeah. Rez just staring into the wall. Either that or he really is oh, the, baby. the worst baiter of all time. Just think, go plant the bomb, I'll come. Yeah, up. like, if you're going to bait this hard, you better win that one versus three. Regardless. At the moment, spread across the map. Standard default, and Hampus is going to get baited into a nice little push. Easy kill for Electronic, who can now switch out for the USP. Rez is spotted too, but they've made their way close to Connector, and the USP, that's in some danger, but he handles it so well. Double kill for Rez. When that flashbang that came over the wall did nothing at all to Rez, he's going to get <laughs> taken down finally. Simple sneaking in and almost getting caught in that murder hole. That leaves Plopsky alone in B versus three people that are coming for him. So now really is the time to be a hero. If he can get even one kill and buy some time, that would at least get Twist and Nork a bit closer. There's Plopsky with the one kill on Boomer. She's looking for one more headshot. Electronic's up there with the bomb. He knows Simple is close. Plopsky, great defense, taking down Electronic as well. What a heroic stand. Oh, there's no stop in the rotations that are coming in now. This is a perfect timing for it. Electronic might have done some damage over to Plopsky. But there's going to be three players here. Maybe even a wow. fourth very quickly for NIP. And Navi, they haven't nearly got out enough to negate the fact that the entire defense is going to be here. Even one on a fast flank is coming in hot. Good kill from Flamey in the smoke. And look at this. They know there's going to be resistance. They know this is taking a while. Boomich going to get dropped by Plopsky. Still holding onto the bomb site just barely. Well, look at this flank from Nock, though. I mean, the bomb is planted for Electronic. That's really the big news here, and there are no more smoke grenades, but they still have to get some more kills in here. Nock flanking in should be an easy pickup on Flamey. And now it's all of the Electronic, and he's pushed forward. He knows he can't fight it. One versus three once they're on the defuse, and they're going to lose the round. That is... All right, well, at least Electronic's in this position. This time he's going to be aggressive with it, and Rez is kind of, kind of looking in that relative area. Not able to transfer over to Electronic. Knock now going to push up, and he hears the footsteps. This needs to be at least a trade. Boomich turning the corner first. Simple's got it. Now just down to Hampus. Over in the corner. He's spotted out. He's dinked. He's going to fall as well. And Electronic adds one more. That's Ooh. a... That's awkward. That's a bomb plan in the seconds. open. That's yeah, very awkward. And thankfully they got that because there's oh, no more again, smoke, but he can actually spam this down. No one's actually challenging, and unfortunately, Twist isn't going to be able to get it done. And I mean, that's uh, in many ways, that's now be proving the same point that NIP proved many times, which is that if you can get that close to the A-bomb side, that you could pretty much take the fight that, that dead on, then... <laughs> yeah, you'd be like a real idiot, wouldn't you? Well, they're going to be rushing into a fully stacked B bomb site, all with Deagles, but they're getting the early fights. There's Plopsky and Hampus getting one each at the very least, but yeah, no chance for Hampus in that corner. So it will be a good round for Navi, all things considered. Molotov spam combination from Flamey. And Twist is under some pressure and dark. 
There's Brumich running over the Mac 10 to take down Rez. I'm kind of shocked that Twist is still alive. So many bullets and grenades thrown his way. It's going to be one to set it up. There's a long-range fight that almost the Mac 10 wins. Hampers showing up. Good spray, but Electronic will take both of them down afterwards. And that is going to leave Kowski in a very bad position, trying to sneak through the hole into the window room. And Perfecto will take him down. You amateur. <laughs> Fair play then. Well, here we go. Enough about the cereal. It's simple getting grenaded all the way to hell and knock. Nearly getting caught there. That could have been dangerous. He's good for another one, but Boomich will take him down. That was shooting him through the box. Just pre-firing that grenade into the corner, and Rez is going to walk right into it. Ooh. He barely lives through it, but that is dangerous. And Electronic, he's still holding top mid while this bomb is down. That means this retake, if Electronic gets the right timing, it's not even going to happen. Nice shot from Boomich with the AWP. He's almost going to get the second one, and Twist will get one in the middle. But here comes Electronic. He's slowly sneaking in behind them. Flamey's uh, there for a kill on Rez, and now it's Hampers and Twist two versus three, but they don't realize they're going to get shot in the back. Just that one kill will absolutely seal the round. And now we are now well on their way to taking this map away. 13-11. Plenty of utility. They've held on to that. They haven't wasted anything. Oh, oh dear. That is a that is a real ridiculously good shot. That's going to make everyone nervous now. Look at the time that's left. 25 seconds. They walk in. Another one from Hampus. They line up for him. He's going to get a double. And Perfecto is alone in middle. 20 seconds. He's got absolutely no chance of doing this. He's going to get a headshot here. But all Rez has to do is wait behind that pillar. No chance that Perfecto checks it. And he goes down. Huge win for NIP with the Deagles. There's Twist setting up for it. That's nearly godlike timing. That actually was incredible. Rez is going to start to fall back, and Boomich is there, instantly <laughs> taking him down. And they had no idea someone was that deep in. Nork now at the A-Ramp, Twist on the other side of the CT spawn. They've got a crossfire, theoretically, but who wants to go first in this one? Twist looking for the kill, and I thought he's, someone would have wrapped on the other side. It's probably what he reckoned, but that doesn't happen. It's Electronic with a double. Nork trying to get back in the round, but it's a 2 on 3 He's low on health after that grenade, and uh, I don't know... But we'll see what they can do with it. Nock is already pretty committed at the moment. Plopsky coming in. If Plopsky can get the AWP, it's time to go. He does have a kit. He's going to trust in the smoke. He's got Nock holding in Palace. Actually, all of a sudden, there's some real promise here. Some nade work, some spam coming through. And on the bomb, Plopsky is going to get it. He's pulled that out of nowhere. This is pretty standard stuff so far. Flamey, they've seen him plenty of times over in Palace. There's the peek from Hampus, and Simple never expected it. Good return, good rebuttal from Electronic, but now they have to press forward into the B bomb site. And the upper here is oh. Twist, and he's in so much trouble. Taken down, rotation is late. Electronic just missed the angle, but now he's got it back. And now they really need to think about this, Navi. The bomb is down here. It's so do nip. I mean, what do you do? Three versus four. You can see Plowski is, is miles away. He's probably worried about Flamey being up in those apartments for a long time. In a position. This time, you're exactly right. As soon as Simple goes down and Electronic gets that trade, they're pushing into the bomb site. Oh, yeah, there is. Flamey's going to start dropping his utility. And if they can get in quick, again, decisive. Although Flamey, again, no reaction to the play from Plopsky. Now he's going to be able to hold on a palace, but Electronic springs into action. And still, that flank is so close now. And this time, they've been slowed down. They haven't slowed themselves, but that presence of Plopsky has made them take their time. And that makes Hampus so powerful. But he's given away his position. They now know one A ramp, one in palace. But this might have to be up to simple. Hampus made his way in the middle. Electronic is hearing this step every time. So, yeah, he knows what's right in front of him. Simple with the one kill and a good follow-up. Electronic and Simple, that duo has been working all throughout. 15-13. Oh, they walk right into the grenade. They wanted to flash their way into a fight, but that could have ended so badly. I actually think they're lucky to get away with even just losing a lot of health there. Nork goes for a kill. He's going to get the one headshot, but if he goes down, there's no more defense at the bomb site. He doesn't actually run back into the grenade. Good push, and he's going to get shot in the back, but that's still way better than it could have been. Bomb is on the ground as Flamey will pick up a headshot on Rez, leaving Plopsky in a one versus three, and he'll get that one kill. He is in a lot of trouble, though, and he'll go down to Flamey. It's 16-13 as NIP failed to close out this game after a spectacular... Smoke there to block off Mini, and then a swing with the P250, looking for a fight, and almost getting his head taken off by that USP. There's a follow -up. He's not afraid to fight, but maybe he should be. Now they've thrown a grenade inside, but it doesn't really matter. Nork and Hompus have got their first two kills. Twist will go down next. Oh god, Electronic is fighting. He's back in the round. Big double. Can he close it out as well? He's in the corner. 
And they know exactly where each other are. A minute left here. They're cooking for the fight and a tag knock all oh. the way down on low on health. Six health left. And that's going to allow for a bomb plant. What a crazy pistol round. So electronic, it's all up to timing. And he's going to sink back. He's going to take the peak. Six HP finishes it off. Triple kill for electronic. They're walking all the way around. Looking for the fight against electronic again. An AK-47. Don't want to be giving it up. Pretty good grenade. Will explode hampers. And now more backup is here. So now they can afford to be a bit more aggressive once again. Just don't lose the rifle is really the key. plovsky has got the right idea. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, they were right nice. on top of him. All that's, five kills. Yeah, that's not bad. And Simple now going to come to join up with the hit. I, I would imagine they want to come in and bring Electronic into mini late. Good opening kill for Flamey, clearing out Plopsky's corner. No response, no rebuttal yet, but Rez on top of the hut can still put a stop to this all. They're slow playing it though. Now he's been spotted, and now he's caught. And no one else moved inside. Wow. Even when his teammate went down, Rez was still all alone on top of the hut. No reaction from NIP. They were frozen in place. Yeah. That's actually really, really shocking, isn't it? Nice kill from Twist, and I mean, the bomb has only just gone down. I could understand why. It's almost frustrating, isn't it? Man, and he was just never able to get into a good fight. He was looking the whole time for a follow-up, someone to come out hut, someone to like follow up that door hit. So yeah, this is a little bit scary. And he's gonna get one good headshot. Needs to pick up that rifle, and now there's a little bit of time being bought. He's got a second player with him here. Hampers the takedown, electronic, a grenade down as well. Oh, it's looking so good right now. Nork finally going down, but look at that clock. Ten seconds left on it as Hampers finally gets dropped. Rez and Plopsky sneaking in. It's a 2 on 3 but now we are low on health, and still be flamey to get the headshot. That's a big difference maker, and that smoke might just ruin Rez's day. How is he going to be able to walk through here? He's thinking about it, jumps right into certain death. And a 5-0 and lead. I think there was a big chance for NIP to win that round. Yeah, let's see. I mean, I don't know if they... It's not clear that Hampus can actually help Nork out if they do check him, but they won't. Electronic going down. Now the rest are in lobby, and how long are they going to wait around here? If they go quick, maybe they can beat them to get back. Plovsky, though, that's a fantastic Ooh. double kill. That's the bomb on the ground, and that should be the round. The first one here for NIP. Perfecto gets dropped. But yeah, that was just... I think that was Navi deciding as soon as they lost that outside control, let's just go and... And they're even letting Simple save the AWP. For good reason, they did not have the money to go for the chase. Hampers really far back. Should be good for at least a kill. And at 28 seconds, that one kill is going to be everything. And Twist is there with a the crossfire. That should be the round right here. Two on four with 20 seconds left. They're down below, but even if they get the bomb plant here, which Simple might, I don't think it's going to make a big difference. They're going to. Oh, yeah. There's nobody it. even nearby from NIP. Yeah, he's going to get the plant. Flamey's in position. This is winnable, Anders, when you could Oh, maybe not. Plopsky delays, and oh, Simple can't get the shot off. It's all on Flamey. That would have been a big no-scope if it could have worked out. Tapping the bomb, and now they know where Flamey is. He's in a fight for his life, and I mean, even if he got that first kill, wouldn't have made a big difference. Nice triple kill from Plopsky. Perfecto towards ramp room, two players in lobby, that's simple and flamey, and there goes, there goes flamey, but Nock is traded off immediately, and now they can start crunching in towards mini. Rez, floored out into the open, flames at his feet, it's all down to Plopsky, off angle, he cleans up Boomich, now his position is revealed, and it's fantastic trading, but Twist is dropped down, and he finds himself in a one-on-one, -on -one. it's simple to try and clutch this out for Navi. Yeah, he just ran the gauntlet downstairs, and now Twist, I think, smartly picking up the AK-47, although he's low on health compared to Simples. This could be a really awkward fight. He's going to be opening the door and swinging for it. That took a second longer than anybody would have wanted. He's still going to win the fight, but that, yeah. that made everyone real nervous there. This is so scary, Simple. This is the chance to make it big. He's going to find that AWP outside. Twist is down. Now Rez is inside of the bomb site. The flashbang right behind him. They're coming through the hut as well, and they'll take him down. What a godlike play here. 16 seconds, but the bomb will be planted, and now it's a two-on-two, -two, and they catch Nor coming in through mini. Hampers in an almost unwinnable one versus two here. Coming in from heaven like this is very, very tricky, even with the Molotov in his hand. He's going to walk in, but the instant trade is there. Fantastic round out of Simple with the triple. Early aggression out the squeak door. Three men just rushing right in and catching Bobski in the middle of that uh, bomb site. That's a big problem. But Rez is there. A fantastic double return. Might just give them what they need. Another one to add on top. And somehow they all get defeated by that one from us. Simple trying to see if he can do this all on his own. One versus four. 
Well, now they know that he's back trapped in the door as well. Smoke is going to delay things, but knock peaks before it. A fourth round for NIP. But that was already a discussion, so um, so I don't see why not. I think it would be helpful. <laughs> Maybe it makes a little beep every five seconds, so you know. Oh, well, another five seconds. Oh, boom, here we go! <laughs> he's going to yes. get Yes! Saps and twist. It's all worth it. All worth it, ladies and gentlemen. Two on three. That's what we needed to what get five back up. Yeah. So that's awkward, too. Flashbangs out, Molotovs out. One and Mini not blinded, and oh, Boomich no. gets stuck in the vent. It's a classic situation. Electronic, though, with 40 seconds, needs to find Rez, but he's looking up, not down. And NIP have a sixth. They have so many people outside. I mean, Twist is down to the fallback, but otherwise, Popsky was in Mini. Nork is out here. Bit of a crossfire, but he just moved. So unfortunate for Nork. I think if he'd have stayed put, probably would have had that. But Perfecto also goes down, and now Rez. Sneaking a little bit closer, wants to see if he can surprise someone here. Big chance here for NIP to maybe get it done, but instead, they both get taken down. I think Plopski was over by the squeak door, so they probably wanted to both push and attack that lobby at the same time, and that completely backfires. Looks like a ninth round here for NI for, for Navi. I don't see anything that Twist could really do. That push was a bit, a bit rough. Nine to six. A good half from Navi, but a good recovery from NIP. Twist is trying to make do. Trying to be a hero, but there's really no chance. Flamey's going to be aggressive on it. Even with the dink, there's the kill from behind. Three round lead for Navi. It's going to be for inside of the bomb site. What a beautiful Sight. play. Well, one of them missed, but I mean, regardless, that's a $900 expenditure in a pistol round that gets you nothing. I don't care which if it's is 9, not 000. a good start. It's still cool. <laughs> Okay. Well, I mean, I'm not saying it's not cool. I'm just saying it's useless. Here we go. Pop flashes in. And now the set piece. But Navi doesn't really have to fight for it too much. They already have a one-player lead. They can just sit back. And now they hear the consequence. They hear the rotation down to the lower bomb site, And everyone's going to rotate in. It's going to be another retake scenario. Yeah, but there's no one here. They're actually quite far away. Now they're getting down the ramp a bit, but this is really awkward. Rez is up close with the Glock, and they're going to have to go and fight him straight on. Easy kill. Swings back around, and Rez finally gets taken down. That's such a critical kill. And Flamey with three Ooh. incredible headshots to just shut NIP down. I, the, the first step isn't the nades that NIP have to worry about. For me, it's proving that they can take outside, that they can do this effectively. Simple's already going to pick one off. Electronic is still out in the garage, ready and oh, waiting. Dear. Oh, another flick, half blind. He saw it before the flash popped, and that's brutal. It's really hard to deal with, and there's a little bit of danger from Hampers. He could get shot in the back by Electronic in a couple of seconds if he's not careful here. Jumps up, Perfecto's there with the Famas, and, well, that's the round pretty much done here. Nor can Rez. At some point, Electronic's going to be the bigger aggressor, as we can see just now. And that's going to make things difficult. So Simple looking to get his third kill of the round, and he does it with ease. No, maybe maybe go ramp instead, just to avoid the madness. Boomich will take down Hampus and then fall back while flashed into the vent. So that's a neat little kill. Simple, ready, and that's a kill. Plopsky was committed to that. He, he, he wasn't afraid. He really wanted it. He should have been. <laughs> Maybe that fear is a good thing sometimes, Sanders. Flamey with one kill. He's got a second challenge. He's brought Rez down to 46. And Rez is the only one remaining for his team. Even if they've had some success, there was they used so much utility to cross and not get picked off before they even reach simple. Eight round lead now for Navi in this series drifting away from Nip. Mini doesn't want to get caught in the middle of that. The re-smoking squeak door. They're outside with a quite a bit of control. And with Rez on that kill. This could actually be an NIP round, finally. They have 40 seconds, and that's the only real issue. And they're also almost out of grenades. There goes Boomich. Simple, unfortunately, has rotated into a position where he can't really do much. And Perfecto has a lot of pressure on him. He's got to drop into the site as well. They haven't spotted this. Here comes the peak, and ooh, good response from yeah, Plopsky. Yeah, go for it. Stop it in All the right. last second. Calm down. They're right on no. there. It's not far away. Do it again, Simple. Do no. it oh. I love it. I love everything about Get it. Out. He's actually trying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. He's going to pick that one up. And you, uh, the other teammate was, what, in, in heaven? So, I mean, or in hell? So it's just, why is nobody rotating quick enough to get down there? Still, plenty of rounds for Navi to play with. They have a six-round lead at the moment. Might dwindle to five after this round. 
Oh, oh dear. Yeah, well, he's reloading, so that's gonna take all day. And they'll survive all of the madness there in the lobby. Simple scoped up out here. It's so dangerous. He can't unscope or he'll give the game away. So if someone wants to walk the other way, but he sees it. Twist will go down. And with the killer hampers to start off the round with, this is not a good look for an IP. They've got Nork down below, but what is that going to do for them right now? They, they need to find a kill, and, and even then they're in trouble. He might confuse Simple, who has no idea. I say confuse, but he's just going to surprise. It's interesting. Maybe they could collapse on the ramp. I mean, if Electronic goes down here with no kills, that's big news. But that kill on Plopski again just makes it a little bit worse. And Electronic nearly getting the double, putting Rez down to 10 health. So... Boomich hiding in the corner. If they can double peek this, that wouldn't be bad. But Rez is going to die so quickly, it might not even matter. Oh, timing is everything, though. Let's just see. Yeah, not going down first. They needed that kill on Boomage clean. Well, exactly that oh. clean. That was a nasty shot coming out from Rez. He's going to go straight for the bomb pump, but won't be allowed to put it through. Close round. I'll give him that. But it's 15 to 9. And so oh, is Flamey. good kill from Flamey. Yeah, he's ready to go. I don't think they realize one is still above them, though. Plopsy about to make his way in. Perfecto's looking in this direction, but the upper bomb site is about to be under attack. That's a big kill from Nock. Perfecto, though, he stops it cold. And if he can hold on a little bit longer, he'll have support inside of the site. And NIP have paused. They've waited. They're blind. Rez is forced back. Nock is taken down by Perfecto. And again, he's doing everything. They're forced to drop oh, no. down, but Flamey's already here. Yeah, oh, door opens. Flamey nearly gets caught. That's so dangerous. And Twist is the last one with two health and a one versus two. He's already got one kill. Yeah, don't fall to your death. That would not be the way to end it at all. <laughs> Trying for a little bit of a crazy wall bang, but time is running out very, very swiftly here. 15 seconds, and he goes down to Flamey. His 16 to 9 as NIP go down in the end.